You have been terribly fooled. Houston, we have a problem. What's going on, everyone? It's Jaronism, back with another video for you today. This video should separate the men from the fanboys, the wheat from the chaff, and the upright from the upside down. When shown the evidence, well, first, you should verify it. Always do your own research so you reach your own conclusions. But once you see that what I'm showing you is the truth, I think you have two choices. First, you can admit that there is some serious problems and then join in this fight for truth, exposing the liars and spreading the word and trying to end this time of deception. Or two, you can stay asleep, write some hateful comment. This way you feel better about that lie you're living. Continue fighting on behalf of the liars, doing their dirty work, and in the process, continue to hold back humanity while we all continue to be scammed by those whose goal is to deceive and dun down each and every one of us until not a single rational or thinking human being remains. H.L. Mencken said in December 1919, the most dangerous man to any government is the man who is able to think things out for himself. Without regard to the prevailing superstitions and taboos, almost inevitably, he comes to the conclusion that the government he lives under is dishonest, insane, and intolerable. And so, if he is a romantic, he tries to change it. And even if he's not romantic, personally, he is very apt to spread discontent among those who are. The globe is in trouble, because once that alarm goes off, and you wipe away the gunk from your eyes, and finally, you can see the truth, there's no going back. You can't unsee the truth. You can't reapply the grogginess and the gunk. You are awake. And while you still might have to decide what to wear and what route to take to work, one thing you do know is that you can't go back to sleep. So what is it that you will know or realize by the end of this video? Well, you should realize that Antarctica is not what we've been told. So let's get it on with the evidence. Now think for some pretend second here, that we're on a ball in the endless space, spinning on an axis. Such place would have two very interesting locations, a North Pole and a South Pole. The North Pole is pretty well documented, and there may be more to find there, but the place that we're going to discuss today is the southern continent, the South Pole. The Antarctic Treaty prevents countries from laying claim, prevents any kind of military action, and prevents you and I from going and taking a look. Luckily, we can review videos and webcam footage to get an idea of what exactly is going on down there. Now, let's say we are trying to prove the globe or trying to prove it's flat. Should be very, very easy, right? I mean, on a globe, we would have a 24-hour sun in the southern summer. That means that the sun would circle the continent. That's quite different from the flat earth model where the sun circles the entire earth from above and since Antarctica is around the outside, well, that doesn't include a circling sun, at least not around you at the bottom continent. Okay, let me show you what the difference between the two options would be. And for someone at the pole, this is what we should see. I'm in Antarctica, it's uh, December 19th. And we're going to start moving the clock here ahead just hour by hour to see what the sun does or should do on a globe. We're at uh, midnight here, so we're pumping ahead two, three, four o'clock. And you'll see the sun just does a 360 around the southern continent, which uh, should be really evident and great proof of the globe. Show a couple of uh, video camera feeds or webcam feeds of that sun doing exactly that and shadows making a 360 degree turn and there's your proof flat earth dead in the water so here we have a, another globe perspective the sun standing still there on the left and the bottom of the bogus ball would be rotating clockwise um, causing the sun to shine 24 hours a day on the south pole which is uh, vastly different than if we are looking at a flat earth Whereas a flat earth with the sun making the trek uh, daily around the earth, somebody who is standing near the South Pole or in Antarctica would always see the sun coming from their northeast and heading off to their northwest. 
and so they would see something a little bit more uh, like this image which uh, shows you exactly what I believe we are seeing on the top there I put a little view of what it would look like from Antarctica and you can see the uh, Sun starting in the upper right and traveling to the left and heading out towards the northwest okay so we now understand what we should see if the globe were the case if the Sun actually circles the southern continent and the Earth was a globe, then this should be absolutely easy to prove, right? There would be a ton of evidence of this easy to prove fact. Isn't that right? We should have video footage in abundance of the Sun circling the continent, causing the shadows to do 360 degree turns around an item. I hope you agree with me. If you're capable of using your mind, and that since video recording has been around, that there is no reason to not have numerous examples of this so-called 24-hour sun. So let's take a look and see what we find. First up, a South Pole video, a 24-hour time lapse. Oh good, 360 degree shadows. Let's watch. Here it comes. Alright, so here we are at the South Pole. No way of uh, faking this video, huh? But let's watch anyway and see. So we have some flags starting around 9 o'clock, heading towards 6 o'clock. And uh, then they'll be heading up from 6 towards 3. Uh, watch the uh, tracks there in front of these small flags. Just keep an eye on those tracks here in a second. And make sure you note where they're at. And we'll see that the front flags are rotating around almost to 3 o'clock now. The back flags look a little bit questionable. If they are even moving in a circle. And so now we're at 3 o'clock. So we're halfway there. And we'll be heading towards uh, 12 o'clock. But oops, here comes some bad weather. And what was that? They just took the flags. <laughs> Alright, so those flags are gone. Um, and you can look at the ones at the top that do look like they're moving. But if you look for the tracks at the bottom, it looks to me like a completely different day. Certainly not proof of a 24-hour circling sun. Not by a long shot. Alright, let's move on. Let's check some webcam footage. Well, here we are, folks. 90 degrees south. Amundsen Scott South Pole Base and Station. And here we have a ceremonial marker erected by everyone's favorite traitors to humanity, the Freemasons. Can we give them a round of applause? Now, settle down, settle down. Come on, they're just like us. Only dirt bags. All right, so here we go. We're looking at this webcam footage. I'll leave the link in the description. We're looking from February 2012 all the way to April 2014. Start at this one here, and let's watch the shadow as it does its 360, proving the globe. Or, maybe not. We can watch the shadows on all these webcam videos, and we can see that never do the shadows complete a 360 degree turn. In fact, never is there a video of an entire day. We could look up here and see at the time that it will go through in 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, then it will skip to 10. For no reason. Remember, these are the webcam videos supposedly for the purpose of showing us the 24 hour sun at the South Pole. And we can see that the sun goes by the horizon there, right to left. But does the sun go behind us? So watch these shadows and you'll see them start, grow, and then skip. Start, grow, and skip. So what they're showing us is proof of absolutely nothing other than the fact that they have edited these webcam videos. You may also notice that these shadows start long, then become short in the middle, and then go long again, which would be the case on a flat earth map where the sun is coming from your northeast and far away, which would cause a long shadow. As it passes the horizon, it would be even with you and cause a short shadow, and as it leaves, heading off to your northwest, it would again cause a long shadow. But one thing should be evident that these are all edited and cut. So again, you can watch the sun as it comes from your northeast across the horizon and then takes off to the northwest. The sun does not go behind us as would be required in a 360 degree sun path around the southern continent. Clearly, this shows us, if anything, that trickery is afoot. And this is not just one of the months. This is not just two of the months. It's not just five of the months. This is every month that they have a webcam video for. 
they have edited and cut out part of the day. And these are during the main months, which are January, December, and November, the southern summer. In this video, let's watch this green flag down below. You'll see it starting around maybe 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, rotates around to about 2 o'clock, and then resets. Rotate around, reset. This is obviously a lie. This is obviously not what's going on. Why don't we get to see the sun do a 360 degree turn around the southern continent? Now remember, this would be pretty good evidence and proof of the globe because it doesn't work on a flat earth to see the sun go around the southern continent. However, on a globe, it is something that should be really evident and should be seen in every single summer video from the South Pole. But again, watch the flag. It'll start around 8 o'clock, rotate around until it gets to 2, and then reset and start over. This should be a huge eye-opener. should be something that screams to you, fraud, fake, set up, contrived. This is not what we would see if the sun went around the southern continent. So now let's think, if the globe requires a certain phenomenon and it is required for six months of the year and every single year, what sense would it make if we never get to see that phenomenon? Use your head here. What would that mean? To me, it means that it simply isn't the truth, that it isn't the case. We don't see what we're supposed to see. So what else are we supposed to surmise besides that what we're told is not the truth? We could look up here and watch the time and you'll see we're at January 14th and the time goes 1, 2, 3, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 21, 22, 23, 24, 1, 2, 3, 10, 11. So watch the times. Again, the link to these webcam uh, time-lapse videos is in the description. You can go watch them all yourself and see that you have been terribly fooled. Now, if we watch these shadows here on this purple flag, you'll see what I'm talking about, about the shadow starting out extremely long, getting extremely small, and then getting extremely long again, which again makes no sense on a globe model, makes all the sense on a flat earth model because the sun is coming from your northeast and far away, causing a long shadow. Then it crosses the horizon, causing a short shadow, and then escapes to the northwest, which would again cause another long shadow. So I would love it if somebody, anybody, would tell me what reason could they possibly have for editing these webcam time-lapse videos in such a manner. Why not show us one complete day where the shadow simply does a complete circle? In fact, they should be able to show us probably at the very minimum two months straight. That's 60 days or more where the sun does nothing but circle the southern continent. In fact, it's supposed to be more. But at the very least, this is at Amundsen Scott South Pole Station there should be non-stop continuous shadows circling these flags. But is that what we get? Or do we get cut up and contrived fake webcam footages?